Good Tuesday, September 30th, 2008. I'm Joanne, and this is Rocket Boom. The oldest rocks on Earth have been discovered on the shore of Hudson Bay, Quebec, Canada. The nouveau Agutuk greenstone is 4.28 billion years old, and that's 250 million years older than the previous record holder, the 4.3 billion year old tonalite found in Canada's Northwest Territories. The only things on Earth known to be older are the tiny 4.36 billion year old zircon mineral grains from Western Australia, which are not actually rocks. At an average size of only 100 to 300 micrometers, they exist unconglomerated. The Earth itself is generally accepted to be about 4.55 billion years old, give or take about 45 and a half million years. So they're all nearly as old as the Earth itself. This is just kind of being nitpicky, if you ask me. They're still not as old as John Mc... as old as that joke. From decaying isotopes in the Earth's crust to decaying things in your refrigerator. The table of elements that periodically go bad can help you avoid a nasty case of food poisoning, especially if the contents of your fridge look anything like this. Not to mention saving you the embarrassment of having to stick your nose in the milk carton when you have company. Method acting. Those are the obvious uses, but it could also be used as a health reference when sporting nature garden jewellery. Granted, mould doesn't have quite the same aesthetically pleasing touch as miniature flowers and potted plants, but there's nothing wrong with tapping the inner you. From zircon to jewels to copper, four new pennies will enter US circulation this February 2009. Marking the 100th anniversary of the original Lincoln penny and the 200th anniversary of Lincoln's birth, the new designs help to chronicle four main stages of Lincoln's life. The US Mint created $50 million in pennies, spending $70 million in labour and materials, highlighting the wisdom of US economic practices. Now, let's save some paper. A team of researchers from MIT have teamed up with Voltree Power to create tree-powered sensors that may one day be used to prevent the spread of forest fires. Using a bioenergy harvester that converts the metabolic energy of a tree into usable electricity, the trees themselves will power a wireless mesh network that delivers real-time weather information to forestry workers. Not only will a constant flow of data make studying and predicting forest fires easier, but the sensor automatically alerts forestry officials in case of a fire, quickening their response time and lessening resulting environmental damage. From protecting our forests to protecting the elderly. This demographic chart shows almost 22% of people in Japan are over 65, which means taking a tumble becomes a greater health concern in search of a solution. Or would that really be someone's solution in search of a problem? Either way, Japanese firm Prop believes it's enough of a danger to invent a personal back-mounted airbag that can inflate within 0.1 seconds of sensors detecting a fall. Finally, we Earthlings have been challenged to an intergalactic battle of wits, and not by an evil alien empire, but by one of the astronauts aboard the ISS. Greg Chamatoff has inaugurated the first Earth versus space chess match and is calling for everyone to fight for the honor of the planet. Each turn, four moves will be thought up by the teammates of the kindergarten to third grade US chess championship team and the chess club of Stevenson Elementary School in Bellevue, Washington, and then voted on by the public using the official site with the winning move being relayed from ground control to Major Tom, uh, astronaut Greg. The pace of competition is hoped to be a sprightly move every two days, so let's roll up our sleeves and prepare to destroy the aliens.